building large language models is one thing and testing them for reliability security and adaptability is totally another ball game raga ai is one such tool which is gaining quite a popularity out there when it comes to testing your large language models to mitigate ai risks and also to make the models more secure and reliable the ai testing methods used by most of the other players in the industry are ad hoc we have github full of um, ad hoc scripts and if you go to very other website you would see some shell scripts and some python and other node js scripts to load test or to test the ai risks in the different models and they vary from model to model but the promise of this raga ai is to make this process simpler now if you are using ad hoc scripts that increases the time commitment and also reduces the productivity while building models especially if you are using llm ops and then it also leaves unforeseen risks so they perform poorly post deployment and thus waste both time and money for the business that is where this end to end ai testing platform raga ai helps enterprises drastically improve their ai development pipeline and prevent inefficiencies and risk post deployment now i think uh, so far what i have looked in the raga ai i like this tool because not only it is dealing with the large models but also for the small and medium sized applications and models too and seems quite fast and if you look, scroll down to their website you will see quite a big names which include nvidia itself uh, aws qualcomm and then the list goes on and on now for example if you look at some of the raga ai's impact you can see that for the image detection it was able to do a very fine quality test and then if you scroll down more there are only three steps detect diagnose and then fix anyway so let me take you to its console i just have created a trial account with my email address so and i have logged in there after verifying my email so just click on this uh, try raga ai and then log in with your verified email once you log in there is a home page where you can explore eight sample projects dealing with different things when it comes to llm ops or depending upon your use case for example if your use case is ocr or llm summarization tabular data then you can see uh, the eight projects here let's click on llm summarization and see how this one looks like the summary looks quite good i mean for example if you look at the summary it shows which data set was used and then you know what sort of tests were run when it was updated who is the owner and how many test runs have we have done so let's click on it so it says that okay so run was this and then there are other models too so let's click on it and it uses raga uh, dna i think okay so it says initiate run so i'll just uh, first i'll just click on run to see if there is anything in the data set and then i will initiate the run let's wait for it to load so data set as we saw earlier it is a cnn daily mail and then data points are around 4500 let's check the event it is not there because i don't think so uh, there is any run so there, there are no event so let's initiate the run here and you can see we, you can even try it on colab so let me try it let's click here so this has taken me to a google colab of course you can run it in any linux instance and i have pasted my access key and secret key which they have given me from here so i just click here and then copied it and both of them i have inserted here let me execute yep run anyway let's wait for it to finish installing this raga testing platform this looks similar to wait and buy says where you can run it like this and then displays the results on the platform so that is done now let me specify these environment variables let import the raga that is also done and then let's set up the run the project was a llm summarization and now this is a code where they are 
using the test session by using the project name our run keys and then these are few of the rules they are add, adding with the matrices and these are quite similar ones like cosine similarity rows and few others and if you're not aware of this evaluation matrices this um, cosine similarity is simply a metric used to measure how similar two items are in the context of artificial intelligence cosine similarity evaluation is utilized to assess the similarity between different data sets and then for the roach one this stands for recall oriented understudy for gisting evaluation and it is a set of metrics and also a package used for evaluating automatic summarization and machine translation software in nlp okay so that's also done that's cool and it has already put it in here which is awesome and now let's go back to the console of raga ai testing and refresh the page and you can see that just one minute ago uh, i did that uh, bird test so if i click on it it is showing me that what sort of test was run it was run at cluster level it was performant test these models were used data set and all that stuff so let's click on view results and it is showing us that um, what happened on the cosine similarity and then what was the metric threshold here and then um, for example if i go with cosine similarity on 0.8 accuracy and click on the results and it is loading let's load let it load there you go so it has a lot of data points here as you can see for example if you look here it is it says it's a overall scenario on around five clusters and all of these colorful dots they represent the five clusters and then this was the target value actual value is 0.74 so and uh, it says that this was a failed scenario and then these were the past ones. So for example, if you analyze a failed scenario, so you can see that it is drilling down deep and deep and deep. So this one, the cluster one was a failure one. So if you look at more data, it is showing you that how much the response type was and a lot of other stuff like document size, distribution, and then the data points which failed. And it also shows you what was a prompt. And then this was a prompt, for example, Tottenham are ready to grant and response was something like this whereas the ground uh, truth was different and that is where the similarity failed so with the help of this tool it is quite intuitive and easy to, fi to find out um, the performance of the model the training and all that stuff so really i think good tool i would say and i have just tested one llm summarization with the testing data so it would be good to see how it works with our own models, our own data set. And then maybe if I could get my hands on something and I will definitely get another video to show you some custom use case. But so far, so good, really like the tool. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Raga AI? And if you think that there is any other tool similar to this, please share it in the comments. I'll be happy to review it too. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, Please share it among your network. Thank you very much.